most saw players, I saw somebody else performing. That that was the inspiration. You know, it's not something that your mother would send you to school for. <laughs> um, in my case, it was in Europe. Um, my parents and I were in Austria, and we went to see a show for tourists. And in it, there was a guy playing a saw, and that was the first time in my life that I've ever encountered this art form. And I was mesmerized. I just felt like, ah. Oh, I want to learn how to do this, so I went backstage and I asked the guy if he would teach me, and he said no. And of course I offered to pay him for a lesson, he said no. He said, go home, pick up a saw, any saw, and imitate what you've seen me do on stage, and figure it out. Busking because even though it's not something that would look good on your resume, it's a lot of fun and it's a lot of raw energy and it's just, it enables you to become an integral part of the city in a way that you couldn't in any other way. I mean, when I'm on stage up there in the lights, the audience is down there in the dark, I don't even see their faces and it's very lonely for the performer. It kind of feels like I'm, I'm performing to a void, whereas on the street, the people are right there and I get to see their faces, the transformation on their faces as they're listening to me and they come and talk to me and they ask me questions and it's like this, it's, it's, a, it's an exchange of energy. It's, it's really cool. It's, it's, uh, you know, I get a lot from them as, because I, I feel their energy and then it energizes me to give out even more. Whereas on a stage, it's very kind of static. I don't know, it's, it's a totally different feel. It's amazing how it's people from all walks of life, from all different backgrounds, religions, ages, you know, nationalities. Everybody reacts in the same way and it's really nice because, I'll give you an example. I was playing at 34th Street and I had like, on my left hand side, there was like a religious Jewish family. And on my right hand side, I had a religious Muslim family. And then in front of me, there were a bunch of people, but one of them had like a big cross on his, on his um, chain. And at first it was like, they were really separated. But then they were all curious about what I was doing, so they started like drawing closer. And then one of them asked me a question, like, what is it, you know? And so when I answered him, I kind of answered him, but also looked around and like included everybody else in the conversation. And everybody was curious about the same questions, so they all kind of drew together and everybody was contributing a question. And then before you know it, they started looking at one another and smiling at not just at me, but at one another. And then they realized that they're all thinking the same things, they're all interested about the same stuff, they're all curious with the same questions. And before you know it, they were communicating. And to me, it just felt like, wow, this is so cool that through my music, I can bring people of different walks of life together, even people who think that they are, they should be enemies. All of a sudden, through the music, they found a common ground. And it's, it's like you're seeing the making of peace in the world in a microcosm. It's, it's really cool.